drawn himself a pretty, drawn himself a pretty picture. Got all busy. I mean, his tongue sticking out. The teacher comes up. What you doing, Timmy? I'm drawing a picture of God. The teacher's like, well, I don't think anybody's ever seen God before, Timmy. They will when I'm done. <laughs> so a little story about Timmy. I'm going to show people what God looks like. I think that's kind of our job too, right? No man has seen God. Moses saw the backside of him, but no man has seen God and lived, what the Bible says. But I think we see God every once in a while, like on my drive down this morning, I saw a pretty cool sunrise. That's seen a little bit of God. Got a couple guys on this stage that kind of wimp out when the weather gets cold, and they leave to Arizona and the northern parts. They miss, they miss all the fine, pretty colors up here in northern Michigan. So that's another way we see God. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> well, there are sea turtles and stuff, but yeah, we all see, we see God in his creation. We see God when, you know, as, as moms, dads or whatever, uh, grandparents, we see a newborn baby's finger wrapped around a hand wrapped on our fingers. We see God when someone comes up and makes their, their decision and, and opens up their life to God and invites Jesus in their heart. I mean, we, we see the heart of God then. But would you stand as we can as we uh, begin our worship? See, I'm going to try this in English. Let's stand as we begin our worship service as we sing the song. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Come on, say it again. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Come on, say it again. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Come on, open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 I want to see you. Come on, say it again. Holy, 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 I want to see you. Come on, say it holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Open the eyes. 
say, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. And you are holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Amen. Let's praise the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. That heart cry, Lord, you are holy. You are the one who is different. You're the one who is the other, that's the center of the universe. I want to see you. And you know, as Alon was talking about, we can, if that's our heart cry by faith, he'll give us those eyes of faith to see God in his creation, to see God in the spirit of another person, you know, in, in the, another expression of his creation, to see God's handiwork around us and his move among people. Because there's always... There's always so much going on, good, indifferent, and bad, that can distract us and cloud our vision to where we miss God. We miss Him. And that's a beautiful heart cry. Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Not just eternally when we see Him face to face on that day, but Lord, I want to see you today. You know, I hope that's our heart cry, even as we've come into this place this morning to worship. Lord, I'm coming to church as the church to see you. I want to meet with you, God. And he'll meet with us if uh, we seek him with all our heart. Well, we have a, such a special week ahead of us as uh, the Stand Strength team is with us, beginning assemblies on Wednesday and moving through the week. And uh, we have our big evening events here at the church, open to everyone in the church and the community. Everybody we invite Friday night at 7, Saturday at 6, Sunday at 6. Uh, they've given us some resources to use to just be prayerfully considering who to invite. You see this in your bulletin, the 10 most wanted. And the intention is to think about, okay, God, who can I invite? Who can I get here uh, to see these guys bend some bars and break some blocks and do some fun stuff like that? But more critically and much more importantly, that they would hear the gospel with clarity and receive a chance to respond. That's what this is all about. And so write some names down. Be praying over those names and then put feet to your prayers and invite people. Uh, to come out. Uh, say you can, you can meet them at their house, you can pick them up, you can meet them here, whatever it may be. We have some invitation cards uh, in the bulletins as well. Prayerfully, um, powerfully use those this week uh, to invite people out to uh, hear, your go- uh, hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you noticed on the way in uh, that there are some, some ministry tables set up, uh, just talking about some of the ministries we have as a church. If you didn't take a chance to walk through that and see those displays on your way in in the gym, please see those on your way out. Just take a little time, and, and God, may, God may tap you on a way to get involved. Or maybe you look at the ministries and say, you know what, what about this? And you'll think of another uh, ministry that needs to be started and uh, we can see God do a new thing as well. And so a little taste of our ministries over there if you want to take a look at some of that. And one of the tables that's set up is our um, human trafficking community group. It's a, it's a local um, anti-human trafficking group to raise awareness, to raise funds, to uh, combat modern slavery and trafficking that is taking place in our communities right here in northern Michigan. And so stop by and uh, see uh, Deb Williams there at the table, and she can uh, give you some further information about how you can be involved. And and they're doing the Walk for Freedom on October 20th to uh, support the work of Jesus Christ and the life of people who need his freedom. Because this Sunday, today we are celebrating Freedom Sunday. We're celebrating the freedom that God intends each person to have, no matter if they're in this country or any country. Uh, Because... The way people treat others uh, apart from the grace of God is absolutely horrific at times. There are more slaves in the world today than ever in the history of the human race. And so we want to be ambassadors of the freedom that Christ gives as Christ followers. And so I ask you to turn your attention to the screens. Uh, We're going to watch a short video from the Set Free Movement on Freedom Sunday.
Hey, this is Kevin Austin, director of the Set Free Movement. I am in Cambodia at the House of Love. Uh, we in the Set Free Movement are just so delighted to be partnering strong with ICCM in a variety of different ways. So we celebrate the freedom that only Jesus Christ can bring because every, every life has infinite value as expressed through the gift of Jesus Christ to purchase that life into reconciliation and relationship with our Heavenly Father. And so we look to God uh, to let his, the beauty of his love and worth flow through us to embrace others and to rescue others out of these, these vulnerable situations uh, where they would be exploited by those that do not care about their worth and their view, uh, the view that God has uh, for them. So we work tirelessly as the people of God um, to make a difference in people's lives because Christ does, and we're Christ followers. So we, again, see the ministries and appreciate what God's up to, and specifically uh, we have the um, human trafficking community group table is set up on the left-hand side as you walk in just to get a little more connected with what's going on here in this community. And today, uh, during the offering a little later in the service, we'll do our regular tithes and offerings, but feel free if you would like to give to the Set Free Movement, give to Freedom Sunday to support these three ministries you saw emphasized in the video, as well as our local um, outreach too. Uh, into the community to rescue people from human trafficking and raise awareness of the dangers. Um, please write Freedom, Freedom Sunday, Set Free, anything like that on your offering envelope in that other line on the bottom, and uh, that'll go right to these ministries. And uh, we thank God for the opportunity to be connected with them. Because God is on the move, isn't he? God is at work. And the, the devil would want nothing more than to say, hey, hey, look over here, look over here, look at everything going bad. Look at everything going wrong. Look at the world crumbling around you. But if we will op have the eyes of our heart open, we will see powerfully what God's doing. The lives that are being changed, the hope that's being given, the, the incremental victories that are coming in the lives of people as uh, they step into relationship with God uh, at every age, all over the community and all over the world. And we're so thankful for that. And we... We look back at what God has done in absolute awe and gratitude. We look at what is God is doing, doing with absolute wonder, and we look forward with great anticipation, expectation of God multiplying his kingdom impact uh, through us as his people. I just want to take a moment and brag on something that Jesus has been doing through you as his people. We began this year this Building Beyond Our Building campaign, and we just talked about it a couple times and put the little pledge cards. I've got one somewhere here. Put the pledge cards in the bulletins a couple times and made them available and just ask you to pray. And we started out with, we owed about $107,000 on the building and the ministry center that we have. And we just wanted to see, hey, could we, could we pray this thing through and see people give generously along with what our mortgage payments are and get out from under this debt that we could see God's strength in the ministries that he's calling us to do and uh, better support those ministries. And we owed 107 at the beginning of the year, and we owe 25,000 now, praise the Lord. 
God is amazing. And so in a little bit, when you write your offering check, just put a 25000 check in there, and we're all done. No, uh, but we're going to continue to make our next couple months payments, and that'll piece away at that a little bit. And we're just asking you to continue to pray if you're able to give a little more. And some, some of you have given so much already, we know. Uh, but if you're able to give a little bit toward that, we're going to see by the end of this year, by the grace of God, being freed from that debt to the tune of $62,000 a year mortgage payment and the interest that goes along with that. So talk about being free. And again, we, we receive freedom to then bring his kingdom in a greater way into people's lives. And this is just one little tangible aspect of that. So praise the Lord for God's faithfulness through you. Continue to seek him. And, and again, any Sunday, uh, you could just write on the building line of the offering envelope something you want to give toward that. It goes right into uh, paying off the debt, right off the principal. And uh, we've seen God do great things, and he's going to see us through Um, by the end of the year, by his grace. And uh, praise the Lord for who he is and who he is through you as his people, making amazing things happen in uh, so many lives. Um, At this time, I'd like to ask you to um, stand with me as we turn our attention back to the Lord in worship. Our God is an awesome God. He's a good God, a God who brings freedom. Um, we have that insert in the bulletin intentionally of some practical ways to be involved in bringing freedom to other people. Uh, the blue insert, just be praying, God, open the eyes of my heart that I can see where bondage is. I can see people in need that I could reach out with the power of the cross, the glory of the resurrection, and see hope given where people are hopeless, uh, healing given where people are hurting. Let's pray together. Lord, we want to see you today. We want to meet with you in this day that you've given us, this hour that we have together. Lord, we're we're hungry for more of you. God, you're worthy of our everything, and we want to express that as we offer ourselves in worship, as we sing some songs of praise. Lord, we know our singing's meaningless in and of itself, but Lord, we're using it as an avenue to connect with you, to let you know what you mean to us. We love you, Lord, and we invite your presence in this place to make everything right. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wouldn't it be cool if God gave us the ability to see around corners, to see what was coming, but then we're not relying on him. But we do want you, Lord, to to reveal yourself. Open our eyes as we prayed and we sang earlier, but Lord, reveal yourself to us. Precious life, I am your sacrifice for my words aren't enough, so I give you my life. Come and kiss this place. I am humbled by your grace. Uh, there's nothing I want more than to feel your warm embrace. Come reveal yourself to me, cause you're all I want to see. If I only had one glimpse, it would last eternally. Lord, I long just to see Take me back to the tree, show me sweet mysteries of your blood shed for me. Oh, come and kiss this place, I am humbled by your grace. There 
is nothing I want more than to feel your warm embrace. Come reveal yourself to me, cause you're all I want to see. If I only have one glimpse. It would last eternally. Come reveal yourself to me. Cause you're all I want to see. If I only have one glimpse, it would last eternally. So come reveal yourself to me cause you're all I want to see if I only had one glimpse it would last eternally it would last eternally say it again it would last oh it would last oh Lord, show us your grace. Show us your plan. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal your heart to me. I lay aside everything else, Lord. I want to know what you have for me. It's all I want to see. Just that little glimpse, and Lord, it's going to last. big way. He is jealous for me. He loves like a hurricane. I am a tree that's bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy. And all of a sudden, I am unaware these eclipses eclipsed by glory and I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your reflections are for me and oh how he loves us so oh how he loves us how he loves us so He is jealous. He is jealous for me. Love's like a hurricane. I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy. Then all of a sudden, I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory. And I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me. And he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, he loves us. We're his portion. And we by the grace in his eyes if his grace is an ocean we're all sinking then heaven meets earth like an unforeseen kiss and my heart turns violently inside of my chest I don't have time to maintain these regrets when I think about 
about the way Oh, how he loves us so Oh, how he loves us How he loves us so Yeah, he loves Oh, he loves us Oh, how he loves us Oh just as we are, just as we are. Thank you for your love, Lord. From wherever you've been, come broken heart, let rescue begin. Come find your mercy, oh sinner, come heal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. So lay down your burden. There's hope for the hopeless and all those who stray. Come sit at the table, come taste the grace. There's rest for the weary, a rest that endures. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't cure. So lay down your burdens, lay down your shame, all who are broken, lift up your face. your heart come as you are come as you are fall in his arms come as you are there's joy for the morning or sinner be still earth has no sorrow that heaven can't deal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. So lay down your burden. Lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face. So 
lay down your hurt, lay down your heart, come as you are. Lord, we come exactly as we are with great expectation to be transformed forever in your presence. We come to you, Lord, not with a, an assurance that you're going to accept us the way we are, but we come with an assurance that you have made the way for us to come into your presence and have you form us into your image, to break off the chains that mar your, your uh, will for our lives. Lord, to cleanse us where we need to be cleansed, to change our thinking where we need to be changed. We look to you and trust you, God to do a work within us to make us more like you. We want to rightly participate with you in this work, God, as we come. So come to your table in just a few minutes. Lord, do your work of grace within us. We want to be carriers of you to a world in need. And Lord, as we take up this offering in just a moment, we give ourselves wholly and entirely to you. We give because you're worthy. You own everything, Lord. We give wholeheartedly and passionately with expectation, God, that you're going to continue to work miracles in, in the lives of hungry people in this community, in the lives of, of people that need your gospel around the world, whatever it may be. You've done miracles, and you're going to continue to because it's who you are. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated.